Hey, what's up, Brent from Brent Speed? It's a work truck today, F-350. It's a 2016 with a gas 6.2 liter engine on 87 octane fuel. We installed some Seamless Works headers and put an 87 octane tune on it. I'm gonna show you a dyno pull to see what it makes. But hey, this is a huge truck. This is one of our clients. He has a lot of Mustangs we've been building. And this is his daily driver work truck. He's like, hey, I'm looking for a little bit more power. And I'll tell you what, there is some power to be found in this. But come here, look at this stock graph I have dug with me today. Before I make a pull, I want to show you what this truck made stock. So, I mean, really, I thought it'd be more than this, but 266 rear wheel horsepower, SAE, at 47 RPMs, torque was 301. Now this is the 6.2, but it is in a huge F350 Super Duty. I mean, look right here, this thing has giant wheels and tires on the back, pretty heavy drivetrain. I think it's got a lot of drivetrain loss but there's power to be found. This does have a K and N holder intake on it. So when it came in, it has a K and N on it. I'll show you that in a minute. So I guess 266 with a K and N, not bad because most of these trucks you see online are in that 255, 257 range, right around there, bone stock. But let's get to it right now. Let's make a down a pull with the Stainless Works headers. I have my 87 octane tune because you don't want to run 93 octane. Let's see what it makes. those graphs so you can I want to, a couple differences I want to show you but look at the engine compartment I know there's not a lot to look at like I said the truck came in with a K&N on it made 266 it's a work truck I and mean, this is what they look like it's got a pretty dirty K&N on it and it's running 87 octane fuel so check out the graphs but this is what we're using this SCT BDX this is why I use to load our 87 octane calibration on it there's a little bit more room for improvement over the factory 87 octane calibration that comes on this truck running our cal but not only in power and torque but really it's in throttle response so the throttle response is going to be a lot more of course we do address the transmission so towing shifting shift pressures uh, torque schedules things like that but look over here so with the headers and the 87 tune peak versus peak all right peak versus peak i'll explain that 296 real wheel horse torque jumped up to 335 now that's basically when i say peak that means the max when it was stock with the K&N versus the max it made with the headers and our calibration on it. But I clicked over here, so this is 3,700 RPMs and this is how this works. You can click on this and I'll show you exact power throughout the curve. So 3,700, which is you know gonna be great in that towing area, acceleration pulling out, 288 torque from the factory, now we're up to 324. So there's a really nice gain right there uh, just based off of the torque before and after. And then I can click out here. So let's just say you're hammering it and you go out to maybe 5,100. The stock was 261 torque and 295 the way it sits right now. So it's gonna be a significantly noticeable difference on this truck. And again, it's just simply an 87 octane tune. I would say with 93, typically I see on a 6.2 more on F-150s. Uh, 87 versus 93 is probably about another 10 real horsepower, 10 torque in there that can be found about 87 octane with the headers on there. Hey, it sounds good. We're running some high flow cats. So, you know, it's a basically a legal vehicle to drive around. You can run 87 octane. You can tow. You can just do whatever he wants with it. It's his work truck. So, hey, I'm Brent from Brent Speed. Again, subscribe, notify. And the uh, basically description, I'm going to leave links so you can read about these parts. And of course, leave a comment. I have an answer, email quote at brentspeed.com. If you have an F-150 or a 250 or a Super Duty, you know, like this, and you're looking for a little bit more power out of it, we can get you taken care of. Thanks for watching.